from inside Serious Futsal Oz in Futsal Oz Thomastown. Welcome to round two of Serious Futsal Victoria Women. Michael Chevello with you. We've got Fitzroy in the yellow and Melbourne Arku in the black. Long throw, top of the D, on here for Melbourne Arku, goal! They open the scoring. Wonderfully worked from Melbourne Arku. And it is the lady I spoke about a few moments ago, Chloe Romero. A lovely assist here. Two touches, there's the pass. Romero slides it into the net. Here come Fitzroy again. Oh, it's that lady, and she is superb. Claudia Frescalzo, a long-distance strike, puts Fitzroy on the scoreboard. If anyone was going to score, it was always going to be Claudia Frescalzo. Look at this. Just gets inside the attacking half, launches it off the right boot. Nobody was going to stop that. 14 minutes to play in the first half. Short corner. And there's a second goal. It's Jess out, the Aussie International. She makes it look so simple. And just like that, Melbourne Aku go ahead 2-1 in this beautiful seesawing attacking battle between these two Titans. Side ball for Aku. You feel the confidence oozing. Here's Giselle Day, left boot, scores it, 3-1. She'd been threatening ever since coming on the court. A tiny lady with huge goal-scoring instincts and work rate. Giselle Day makes it 3-1, and Aku are beginning to run away. You're talking about confidence, just a second before that goal went in. It's all confidence for Aku tonight. They've got their big name players coming on board and they're here to match up. It is going to be Claudia again to see if she can spank it in off the right boot. She goes low, she goes hard, it goes in. 3-2. Claudia Frescalzo single-handedly keeping Fitzroy in this game. What a fantastic uh, set piece there coming from Fitzroy. Frescalzo took advantage because Aku just took too much time. The coach just directing traffic too much. There has to be a two-person wall, two wall and just slipped through the middle there. I'm not sure what the breakdown was coming towards the coach and the defenders. But and What's Octane. the other one? Octane. Yeah. Night train. <laughs> I like night train. <laughs> <laughs> Ring Oxford. Ring Webster. Well, night train. Yeah, Enter night. it. <laughs> okay, there we go, folks. 3-2 at a half time. We'll be back shortly. You're watching Melbourne Aku and Fitzroy. Liz Amp. Oh, but who cares? Can't reach that. Liz Air has scored. We told you she'd keep trying all night, and she's been successful. And there's the equaliser. Liz Air just does what she does best. That fluorescent uh, top that she's got is long gone. In comes a red, and it's that firebolt shot, that the signature Liz Air shot, and it's just so incredible. Now she's got the equalizer that Fitzroy just has been Makes holding. Up. Thought about rolling it, throws it instead. Chantler, some space here. Good ball by D'Alessandro. Chazelle Day to be the hero! No. Oh, Liz Air. No foul given. Got to be careful there. Giselle Day just couldn't control it, though. Aku looking for fouls. Oh, there'll be a foul here, surely. They've come to blows. Well, Liz here came off her line. They came to blows on the court. Someone shouted to someone else, you're an effing psycho. Delivered the first foul. That's going to get called for penalty. Let's see. Nothing? No, surely not. Jen's, okay, here we go. Liz and Jen being called over. Cards coming out, what colour? Are any of them? It has to be a foul. One of these has to be a foul, right? Red's coming out. Liz Air's off. Jen Chantler's off. So as we said, you could red card them all, 
But where's the foul in all this? There's another one, another red. Two reds for Fitzroy? Oh, I think it's a yellow for Diana. Yes, Kat. No slouch herself. We're going to penalties in this very controversial game. Well, folks, we are going to take a short break. You digest the Chantler got one. Lizier got one. Deanna Frescalzo probably is deserving of one as well. If not for her actions, for her swearing. First goal denied by Sajek. Well done there. Saves the first penalty. Sajek. Claudia Frescalzo. Should not miss. Doesn't miss. 1-0 Fitzroy. Off her left here. Rayma. Oh, she misses as well. This is terrible. Cannot miss this. Can Borg has saved. She can, you know. They're still in it, Melbourne. She misses. That's it. That is it. Big run up. She's going to power it. And she scores. Keeps them alive. Otto for Fitzroy. And Bohorkas saves again. Now it is. Evangelia off her right boot. Short run up. It goes in. Yes, it goes in. Cross the line. Well, Dharma Georgie and Scott Rogan arguing with the referee. Maybe believing it didn't go in. Are they going to VAR? Check it, they are. Okay, let's have a look now, folks. Here's the replay. I thought it went in straight away. Here's Parthamos. No, yeah. It's, it's, of course it's Straight in, in yeah. You saw Referee that. called it correctly. It was way in. It's, a, it, it's, a, it's an easy penalty. Yeah. Good goal. So, Dharma Georgie steps up. Captain, following the captain of Melbourne Arku. It's the captain of Fitzroy now. Deborah, we should be the one to save the day. She's made two saves so far, but all cares. Oh, and wide. It goes wide, and Melbourne Arku win. Well, a match that will be watched, replayed, scrutinised, analysed over and over again. Sees Melbourne Arku defeat Fitzroy on penalties. Michael Chavello alongside an absolute standout star tonight for Melbourne Arku, their goalkeeper, Deborah Bohorquez. Deborah, what a game. Congratulations. Oh, no, thank you. Two saves in the penalty shootout. An amazing night. Um, you know, you jumped them out of the gates early. Did you, was it the game plan, put the pressure early and attack Fitzroy from the opening whistle? Yeah, I think like when we play the top teams in the league here, you just got to go really hard early, set the standard early. And I think the team did that beautifully. I want to talk about the controversy before the end. Two yellow cards were given. Now, the way that we saw it was Jen Chantler went down, uh, accidental. Um, Dharma Georgie tripped over her, accidental. Then Jen Chantler, I think, lashed out at Dharma Georgie and kicked her, which I believe is what gave her the red card. Then we saw Deanna Frescalzo run across and give a push. She wasn't given any sort of red card at all. Liz Air came off her mark, almost did like a judo throw, sent her <laughs> player down. She got red carded. From your position at the other side of the court, what did you see happen? Should more red cards have been given out? Look, I um, from my position, I'm probably the worst person to ask because um, I just saw so many bodies at the same time. But um, I think we must all remember that um, we need to really play a respectful game. And I admire the um, refs for actually handing out some cards in the game. It's really important for the safety of the players. So um, unfortunately, I didn't see. But um, yeah, as, as long as everyone walked off safe, I'm, I'm really happy. It's It always is terrible when one of your team members gets a red card. And I know that was probably hard for Fitzroy to lose Liz in, in that part. And as for Jen, I mean, I just love to um, try to get the ball to her to get a shot. So I think both teams were at a loss for sure. She had a wonderful game, Jen Chandler. Yes. You know, running down the, the list here of Melbourne Aku players, and I'm trying to find who was the player of the match. 
I'm going to put my oh. vote in for you, but let's take you out of the equation, Deborah. Oh. I mean, I think that uh, Chloe Romero had a great game. I think Chazelle Day was on fire tonight. Yes. Parthamos had a good game as well. Jess Al, you could name any one of them, but just give us one. Who do you think oh. was the standout? It was, um, look, I have really missed Eva on the pitch. Um, she was number four today, and geez, uh, I've, I've missed her on my back line um, for a while because she was out with a bit of a concussion. So, geez, just having her back made me so happy. Um, but yeah, the team was excellent. But yeah, if I had to say that's the person I was really shouting out for, she, she really helped me out a lot. So, the nod from Deborah Hall cares goes to Evangelia Parthamos. The nod for us goes to this lady here. What a superstar. We'll see her next time. Deborah, congratulations. Thank you so Wonderful much. Wonderful game. Go enjoy your night, folks. Stick yeah. around because coming up next, Carlton Hart and Northern Phoenix.